Welcome back to TK Tennis. So you can't make this up. We had another double bounce controversy. Two weeks after the controversy we had in Cincinnati on the ATP tour with Jack Draper having a double bounce. The latest controversy happened at the US Open between Hadid Maya and Kalinskaya, which you see here. So I can't show you the whole video because it's copyright protected, but I can just show you clips. I'm gonna link the whole video to a Reddit link that shows the entire video that you can watch, but let me set up the situation. So Kalinskaya just hit this shot that's headed towards Adid Maya. Adid Maya is running towards the ball and it just bounced once and is now rising up to bounce twice. In this shot, you can see that she's just reaching for the ball upon the second bounce. And here's a close up look with the ball clearly hitting the ground first. Now here's the thing, in Cincinnati, they were not allowed to use instant replay. But the U.S. Open promised that this wouldn't happen again because they were going to use technology to prevent such similar calls from happening again. And you can see here, here's the replay booth where they're rerunning the replays. But the difference is between like the NFL and the NHL where they supply information to the umpires. Instead, they just replay the replays for the umpire to see and then make the decision. And this is where things get interesting. So they're replaying the slow motion replay on the screen and the umpire sees that Kalinskaya is arguing here that the ball hit her racket and then hit the ground exactly like it happened in the Draper match a couple weeks ago. It is plainly obvious to see right here that the ball hit the ground first and slow motion replay made this crystal clear that the ball hit the ground after it hit Hadid Maya's racket and then bounced up and over. But let's just take a step back for a moment. Even before the replay was shown, you knew that this was a double bounce because Kalinskaya whiffed on the shot when it got back to her. Normally when you hit a ball cleanly or off the frame and you made the shot and it didn't hit the ground after you hit the racket, it will always have underspin. A professional player would never miss a ball and recognize it with underspin. And if she got it, she would be expecting underspin. Instead, this ball had topspin and sidespin and it was very janky and Kalinskaya whiffed on it. So just right there was a very strong indicator, even during the point, that the ball was hit off a bounce after the racket or a double bounce of some kind. And replay proved this crystal clear. And what makes this case so egregious is the umpire and her decision and her lack of knowledge of the sport itself. This is completely inexcusable. Again, you can't see this from the screenshots, but you'll be able to hear it in the video. The umpire ruled that Hadid Meyer got it in one motion. There is no such thing as a one motion when it comes to a double bounce. If Hadid Meyer got the ball cleanly and double hit it with her racket in one motion, that does exist and that's a legal hit. She was claiming it was one motion and clearly does not know the rules that the ball cannot hit Hadid Meyer's racket, then bounce into the ground and then over the net. And that's what she was arguing, and she awarded the point to Hadid Meyer. It is incredible that they're allowing the umpire to make the decision, and there's not someone to overrule when you have slow-mo instant replay proving it was an illegal shot. How this happens can only be explained by umpires that some umpires, not all umpires, clearly don't understand the rules of tennis and clearly don't have good judgment. And there's one other thing getting lost in all this. Just like in the Jack Draper case, where he had an opportunity to do the right thing and not take the point, Hadid Meyer also saw the replay just as much as everyone else and knew she did not hit a fair point. And when she was told by the umpire that she was being awarded the point, she quickly ran away to the baseline while Kyle Linskaya was trying to ask her basically to do the right thing. This once again is another example of poor sportsmanship and a lack of character. Again, if you want to see the full video, click on the Reddit link that I have in the description. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next.